Welcome to another edition of Carbs here on Reckless Eating, the only show where I sit in a car and BS while consuming carbs. Matt and Zion here. Move forward just a little, just a little. So we are going back to 7-Eleven. They have brand new melt sandwich, well sandwich melts. I was just saying just melts. It feels weird saying a melt, but a sandwich melt. They had the chicken and bacon ranch one, but they were out. So I went with the Italian melt. Like I said, brand new. You order it, they, uh, they have them off to the side, you bring them up, and they actually, it takes about a minute, they put it in the little machine to do and heat it up and you're ready to go. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's $4 for this thing. So I don't know, that's, that's kind of expensive. But at the same time, if it's really good, then who knows. This one has uh, some sort of sauce. I don't know sure if it's a ranch. It has uh, bell peppers and it looks like it has uh, varying kinds of meat and cheese. I'm the worst person to explaining what is inside of this thing. But for $3.99, a minute wait time, which is minute wait time is not that bad, but it is something. Is this sandwich worth getting at 7-Eleven? By the way, I was in line and the guy in front of me ordered a full pizza. What? I didn't think anybody ever did that, but he did. Let's try it out. The Italian Melt, brand new from 7-Eleven. They are really stepping up their food game and trying to, to compete with uh, AMPM is what I think they're going against. Will the Italian Melt be any good? Also subscribe to our gaming channel, Zion Mainframe Gaming, by clicking the annotation right there. It'll take you over to our Let's Play gaming channel of questionable variety. Here we go. Let's try this out. One big old bab. And I, let's go from, uh, let's go from uh, right here. It looks like there's most of it's right here. That is actually really good. Uh, the bread is actually the highlight for me. That is a really nice bread. Breaks down nicely in your mouth. The cheese, they put a lot of cheese on this thing. Probably to help offset potential grossness, I guess. <laughs> bell peppers do not, uh, I don't know if those are bell peppers or uh, are they banana peppers? I don't know, some sort of pepper. They're good though, it gives it a nice flavor. They're not crunchy, which is, I don't like peppers that are crunchy. I like it when they just, they're very soft and mm, so good. The meats really interact well with each other and whatever sauce that is. The whole thing is really good. I'm gonna get one more big freaking bite. Let's do it. What it looks like on the inside there if you lift this up oh yeah it kind of looks like a soppy vagina this is really tasty i think four dollars is worth it because of how good this ended up turning out i'm actually very surprised how good the bread is i just i did not expect the bread to be that decent i would give this a solid four good stuff if it was a little cheaper like three three fifty i think it would go up a little bit but for what it is great stuff really good for something that is just a sandwich that they heat up for you for the most part like this is solid solid food entertainment inside of my sexual orgasmic mouth good stuff 7-eleven you have stepped up your game at least your sandwich game if you want to see me do the chicken bacon ranch dealio the melt not the it wouldn't be what would a dealio be i don't know but if you want to see me do that version let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts on this thing and thank you for joining me for this edition of Carbs. We'll see you on the next episode. Reckless eating! Reckless eating!